The Message of the Divine Iliad Volume 1 by Walter Russell The Book of Desire Section 4 Consider well my will, disregard it not, for thou shalt well pay heavily for e'en one whit of its breaching. For I am balance, as heavens and earths of my balanced radial body vary not one whit in their rhythmic balance, so shall man vary not one whit. Unknowing man, unthinkingly, counts upon his own power to set aside my one law to fit the measure of his desires. But, I say, I alone hold balance. Man walks through his cycles upon a tautened rope. Where'er his foot toucheth, I am there giving him foothold as the fulcrum of his effort. From my rest at that fulcrum, he takes the power I give to him to express his desire. Without me, he can do naught. And behold me also, at each end of the lever of his action to balance his unbalancing in my universe which knows no unbalance. Yea, be it ever known that two eyes of man's very God watch o'er each action of each man whose body my body is. And if man would know where those two eyes of his God are located, I say, seek them at each end of his wavering pole, which keeps him upright upon his tautened rope. For man cannot be without me, e'en though he deny me in him. Have a care, therefore, that desires of man for things of earth be balanced by desires for heavenly blessings, without which man has naught.